So this is my idea on the first catapult, basically building whatever will work. I wonder if the torsion spring will fit in there. Whatever will work and just calling it a catapult. Doesn't even have to move, just we have to say we built a catapult in the end. So I'm going to watch you, hand crank, spool. What's really nice is these two different types of timber. Diagonal, cool. They don't have the, too many diagonal timbers. I wish they did. But these comes in sets, so you can make one, two, all the way up to, what are these? Uh, I'm going to say eight. Eight long. One by ones to one by one by one to one by one by eights. Cool. I was looking for tab there. So, torsion spring. Nope. What was what was that? Ha ha ha. Yep. That's just going to be a thing. Okay. That's the right way, but I doubt the spring is... Yeah, it's not... A, it's not going to fit there, and B, I don't think it works like that. Honestly. Just just my personal opinion. I don't think that that is going to work like that. Got another brace. Ha. Huh. I'm flying blind with these. Usually I have the nice UI thing of Space Engineers on, but conveniently that is not here right now. Huh. I'm just going to move that over one. So it looked like it was... <laughs> wow. It looks like it will be connecting kind of off. A little bit. I'm gonna put in some base supports. So this is what I was meaning. As I scroll down, it decreases by one each time. I think it takes from both sides. Yeah, I was placing it in the middle there. Uh, it always depends on where you're placing it from. On what heights this all doing? This all is doing. Huh. As I said, this is the first really build that I've done. I built was that thing, which is really cool. And you can place things onto structures and they will stick there. Ooh. Come on, where are you? Two, three, four. Still not breaking. <laughs> Interesting. So, yeah. Something I've noticed is it isn't always ragdolling whenever you delete portions. Yeah, it's acting like a station really right now. Yeah. So going back to this, need more, more length. Ooh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yeah, they have up to 10. You can go all the way up to 10 and then back down to 1. I think they have different textures for each one. Or maybe it's just basing the texture. Yeah, it's just expanding the texture out from one end. Interesting, interesting. As I said, interesting. Ooh, nice torsion spring. And yes, they already have this preset so that no matter what, I believe this will work, no matter what, this catapult should end up at a 45 degree angle. Yeah, and I think it should work either way. I want to go in and make a video of the pretensioning, whether you can actually, whether the spring gives you actually more force if you pretension it, thus rotating this around once one extra loop, because I believe that should work yeah, that's actually how they make tension strings, is that they keep revolving it around that, revolving this around that point, and it gains tension. So technically, in real life, a tension spring shouldn't work like this, but it just does. That That's the whole meaning behind this. It just does. What type of catapult do I want? Let's go with more of a fork-like pattern. Put those on that end. That should be good. Ooh, I might need to destroy some of this terrain 
to get it the whole way down. All the way down, I mean. <sighs> Words today. Impale you in the ground. And impale you into the ground. Should be good. Yeah, there's a train thing. We. I forget what the special name for them was. Hole diggers. Uh, that's what we're going to call them. This nice hole digger. It's more of a pit, but let's just stick out a hole. This whole thing was dug, uh, dug out by a hole. Uh. So now on this far side, yeah, far side, I'm going to put the part, the pulley, I guess. The spool, there we go. The spool to spin all this stuff down. There we go. It's not actually tracking where I'm pointing, it's tracking where in space it is. Go. Fill you in. Fill you in, thank you. Drop down, use five. Now this will be interesting. So, I'm actually going to want a different one. The ratchet. What was the winch? Yeah, that's what I was using earlier. The winch. So they have two different cat. That's a catch block, and that is a locking cat catch block. Ah, I bit my tongue earlier. So words aren't my strong suit right now. You should work. You don't need to be a catch. Now, which way are you going to be going? So, if I spool you in, I believe it's a top spooling. So you actually need to be on that side. Correct. We. Now, I need a different one. Yay! There we go. And go out. There's a lot of things to learn with this. Not such a strict learning curve. Home, delete, there we go. But still exists when you start up. I didn't actually need to do that. I'm smart. So, now if I lengthen this, it has connected with both sides. That's nice. I was trying to talk about earlier how merge blocks are non-existent here, so they're going to have they needed to figure out a way to actually make stuff like that work. And they did. So that's nice. I'm not sure why I'm connecting these up, but I did. So there. I was meaning to be able to move these. That may or not may or may not be a problem. Oh well. So you will be a problem. Three. Yeah, I need to destroy some more terrain. So yeah, I can't really spool you in. I was trying to use the flying mode <laughs> jetpack. I was trying to use the, what is it, middle mouse button? Yeah, use that to scroll it in and out, but it actually wasn't working. Sadly, you one-sided little drum piece. Oh, I'm in the way now. There we go. Get you down to a one. Three. Yay! Now it's steady. Now how big are you? That wide? Okay. Sure. Let's test out this contraption they have for a winch. So what I'm going to do here is extend this part out enough that it will stay connected when I... Oh... Huh. This is really challenging stuff. Delete you. Hopefully you two will reconnect. You'll, you'll soon be reconnected with an old friend. Do that. Ah, you don't want to centralize? Oh, it's still stuck on that portion. It still thinks it, it still wants to be a part of the old system. Nope, you're part of the new system today. And now... Merge blocks be my friend. Will you be my friend? No, you won't. Oh, we could have been besties of friends. I'm going to regret saying that. 
So now it works. Yay! Now, lights. Touch you on here. This is actually pretty simple, as I was saying about learning curve. I just hit T on that. Will this work? But I need to have zero hand. Uh, Oh, yes. Yes, it did. Oh, the flight of the catapult. You're actually being really steady with fraps now. You guys got along. Finally, the world is complete. Oh, that's a weird little edge there. Ledgy thing. So, oh, you won't let me go into view. There we go. Scrolling out in this view still works, so... T gives me the long way. Okay, well, I think we might have some construction to be wondering about. So, which, which way are you spinning? Spinning the wrong direction. Tra! Ooh! Ah, uh, will that fix it? Yes, but have we fixed the whole entire thing? Let's check, shall we? Uh, in there? No! Hmm. Oh, I'm still spinning the wrong way. I think it has to do with the orientation of your character, on which way that spins. This is truly the main mystery of medieval engineers right now. Ooh. Yep, I think I missed. Let's see if I can get this shot in. So, I believe I was rotating it in the correct direction. But, as. Uh, huh? Catapults! They're supposed to be easy! Uh, spectator. Come on, help me out. So, this piece is annoying. Yay. Uh, yeah, take a knee. What's wrong with this? Six. Go up. Bother, bother. Bother, bother. T, T, X, F, T. So, which way is spooling in and which way is spooling out? I, I could just do spectator. I will. Nine, look down, look down, please. Fine. Okay then, they don't have that set up. Going from the basic V view. So... Uh... You are stuck. Yay! Catapult is stuck! So, I believe if I go like this, it will unstick itself, and then we'll be able to repeat this. Science! The ability to repeat experiments. Nope. What's the catch here? Haha, <laughs> you are. Yay. So. Uh. Yeah, about that. I'm just gonna get off here. Oh, yeah, you reset. Oh, wow. Think we have a problem? Just... Whoa! Welcome back to Earth. New view. Did you just fly up? That'd be great. Seven. So. 
Yay! Please work, please work, please work, please work. I really don't want to let's play a non-working catapult. You want to spin it up in the right direction. Is there a world with a catapult? I might just want to do that. Jump to a new world, get a catapult. Let's see if 10 is set up. Uh, never mind, 10 is not set up. Okay. Was I just looking at you wrong? I believe, yeah, I saw that. There was a weight. So way to add weight to things. Unless you're me. G weight. Did I set up my catapult in the wrong direction? If I did this... You see, it was just testing the players of Medieval Engineers. No, because it moved. Okay, I think... They attach you. That should be enough weight. Do I need to launch a cannonball at you? Nope. See? Up you go, and don't even move. We rigged all. Yes, delete said object. So in order to figure out whether this... Yes! I was taking you all along, catapult. I was just misusing you and your very elastic patterns. Oh, I just took you all along there. I had you backwards. Okay, now which way is the right way? Uh, the way, that way, yay. Oh, so actually I take back what I said at the start of this, that catapults don't do actually have a pretensioning set into them and that you can't automatically you can't automatically just pull it won't automatically stop at 45 that's what I said there we go won't automatically stop at 45 it'll stop at 45 in the opposite direction I guess you could use that to your advantage but not here not right now hmm does this have the mechanical advantage we need? Find out. Right now. And T. And run over here. Give me a selection box. T. Wait, did I press F? There we go. Let's try this again. Press T. Yay! All this work, and we finally get a catapult. Isn't it so rewarding? Uh, forward, forward. Oh, it's forward based off. That's weird. It's forward based off of me. I, I guess I'd assume that in me. And with this catapult, with the tension spring, you can only go up to. 180 degrees in either direction. Interesting mechanic. 
<laughs> Literal mechanic. So, we finally got ourselves a catapult, even though my flying is greatly distorted. Ooh, bug. So, when I press W, it wants to add gravity to myself. And S makes me go forwards. Reset flying mode. There we go. That was weird. I guess if that ever happens to you, just hit, just reset the flying mode, and it should work. So actually, we need some borders on this. So for ah, I didn't say it now. Wait for my cue, please, please. So beautiful. Now it's gone. Oh well. Now you're weird. Thank you for that. And now I have to get this all set up before I lower the spring down. Da -da. Da -da. One more for good luck. Set one more. Home. There we go. So that is a catapult Let's save. Saving. And they have a nice little gear. This world for me. Saved. My first ever world. So now, to christen our catapult, I brought in a very special friend for medieval engineers, Taurus. The cow. And I copied him. Right? Whoa. No, I just copied the whole entire building. Okay, anyone want to experience physics? Your station! <sighs> Not that's. Let's have fun with this. You stationary. Yeah, you still exist. Be aware of falling boulders, mist. Yeah. Physics that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going crazy. I told you I'm not going crazy. Surely I told you I wasn't going crazy. We. Oh, look at the splinters of that. Whatever wood. Oh, this is supposed to be hay, but it has red. Yes! I just broke my catapult, and I liked it. And please, please get out of my face. Thank you. Oh, so amazing. Oh, let's do that again. Oh. Fall back to me, fall back to me, please. Whoa. Lighting much. Oh well, that's why we saved, so I'll finish up destroying this one. Where are you? There we go. And then we can get to launching our catapult and to christen it Taurus. Do you ever feel unsturdy? Like you're about to collapse? Not knowing when or where or why? Oh, why you're floating in the middle of the air? Well, this is why. Ooh. My guess is that the code that they have, uh, whenever something is made, whoa, it defines it as, like whenever something is made inside the train, it defines it as a static object. Thus, when you copy and paste something that is not indeed in the train, that was in the train, it is now a static object and floats in mid space. Let's just do this. The world came tumbling down on you. Nothing in this world I wouldn't do. Do. do, 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 do.
come back to me. <laughs> the roof just starts collapsing. Honestly, you think you're that sturdy? Let's put you to the test. Debris falls everywhere. Honestly, let's start some physics here. Missed. Okay, I guess you are that sturdy. Floating castles, the newest in architectural innovation. <sighs> I'm just enjoying this a little bit too much. Oh, it went! It's falling down. <sighs> Debris scatter. I'm still getting eight frames. The frames don't change, but the whole thing just tumbles down. I was not responsible or irresponsible for this landslide. Whack a kerbal. Oh. Okay. Quick load. Yes, please. Catapult me! I will fly across the sky like a shooting star as a catapult throws me. The legends of the catapults. Aztec warrior. There's no ordinary moments. There are always something going on. There's... There are no ordinary moments. There's always something going on. Aztec warrior. Was that written down somewhere? People will never know, sadly. Almost seems like there should be a lake down there. This is nice gradual slope. There's a mountain in the background. Ooh, we're back. I am back. I might re record that. So, this is the second part. Spin, 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 spin. <sighs> Got your energy out yet? Oh, I need a stopping mechanism. Yep, that would be nice. Oh no, my dapper nose aren't on. Yay! So I just went through and made a little modification to make sure it stopped. Yeah, that really shouldn't. That shouldn't in fact affect anything. In fact, the infected catapult. Newest in innovations of siege weaponry. So, to christen my first ever catapult, I brought in a small friend, which will be with me for a while. Taurus, the cow. Yay, I made a copy of him last time. Let's just say it was interesting. Hello, Taurus. Hello. How are you doing? Are you in the bush? You're in the bush. Yay. Me and Taurus go way back, like Aztec times. We. Hello, Taurus. Enjoy your nice trip. So this is about it. We're gonna be launch. We're just about to launch Taurus. Say goodbye, Taurus. He just said goodbye, you didn't hear it. He's in the stars most times. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh. Taurus! Yay! He's alive.